السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹڈی ای بی ایس ٹو لیسن نمبر تھری لائف آن ارتھ دا کنٹینٹ آف دا چیپٹر انکلوڈس فارمیشن آف دا ارتھ بگننگ آف لائف آن دا ارتھ دا ورلڈ of animal on the earth means the animal world on the earth the first point comes here formation of the earth how the earth has been formed it's there are some questions we all wonder about For example, how did the earth on which we live come to be? When did that happen? Was it always the way we see it today or has it undergone changes? And if it has changed, what exactly are those changes? These all questions are there in our mind running that what will be and we wonder about it. that how is it so on the basis of scientific research it is now believed that around 4.5 billion years ago an enormous cloud of very hot gases and dust spinning at a great speed was formed in space its circular motion and great speed caused it to divide into several portion thus creating the sun and the planets which revolve around the sun the name of this planets are you all know about all the planets we have studied it about the planets and what are the name of the planet say yes correct mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune now comes the beginning of life on the earth how the life began on the earth we will see in this topic the pictures are in front of you one is of the unicellular organism seen through a microscope and this is a microscope students we have studied the planets we know the name of the planets also and we also know this that the earth is the only planet where life is known to exist that earth is having a life on it after the formation of the earth it took about 80 crore years for its surface to cool down and for water bodies to be formed on it and it is believed that various kinds of unicellular organisms or living things first appeared in water the li- means the life first appeared in water now you must be thinking that what is this unicellular organism unicellular organism is also known as single cell organism means they are made up of only single cell means only one cell and they are known as protozoa and slowly multicellular living things develop from this unicellular one means from one cell it became multicellular and you know students the protozoa are so tiny that they cannot be seen with the naked eye 
मीन्स प्रोटोजोआ इतना छोटा होता है कि वो अपन अपनी खुद की आंखों से नहीं देख सकते दिखेगा ही नहीं वो इसीलिए वी यूज माइक्रोस्कोप हमको माइक्रोस्कोप लगता है कोई यूनिसेलुलर ऑर्गेनिज्म को देखने के लिए बिकॉज अपन अपनी आंखों से नहीं देख सकते वी कैन सी इट ओनली विथ माइक्रोस्कोप ओके नाउ वी विल मूव फर्दर लास्ट पॉइंट इज द एनिमल वर्ल्ड ऑन द अर्थ Everybody knows it, students. The living world on the earth consists of plants and animals. But here we shall take into account the animal world, because our point is animal world on the earth. So we should see the following points, following characteristic of animal. these are in front of you the following are some of the main characteristic of animals and you should learn this first is animal breath animal move second one animal move in order to get food or for other purposes and the third point is animal of some species lay eggs and their young ones are born out of eggs animal of some other species give birth to their young ones here are the animal world in this picture you can see many of the animals and here you must be knowing each and every animal's name also so i think you all have understood because it's very easy and learn the main points and your homework for this video is you have to find the names of the planets in the box below here you have to find the names of the planets you have to mark it and you have to write it down in your notebook which we have made and the second question is to arrange the events given below in chronological order means aapko ye jo bhi jis tarike se events di gayi hai a b c d what are bodies appeared on the earth surface v the sun and the planets revolving around it were created c protozoa appeared in water D an enormous cloud of hot gases and dust was formed in space this all four points are shuffled that's why you have to arrange the events in chronological order and write it down so take care do your work properly hope you understanding each and every video allah hafiz